What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make homemade burritos. This is with last night's leftovers, but it is amazing. So, up first we have the ingredients. So, of course, you're going to need the big burrito uh, wraps. These are the ones we get here, the largest size that you can get. Then we do have our taco ground beef right here. We do have our cooked rice. We always go with Velveeta cheese just because it melts so perfectly. Obviously, you're going to need hot sauce. So we have sriracha, homemade uh, salsa, sour cream. We do have yellow pepper diced up. And we do have corn because, in my opinion, a burrito is not complete unless you have corn on it. Of course, you can have other veggies. Uh, you can substitute the beef for chicken. You can put beans in it. You can put pretty much anything you want in it. I'm not a fan of guacamole, but you can also put that in your burrito as well. As long as you don't overstuff it because you do need to fold it up. Optional is putting it on a press here to seal it. So we do have the press getting warmed up here. So let's start making the burrito. All right, so up first, we do have the tortilla here. I do have a slice of Velveeta cheese on here. Next, we're going to put our beef because that will help melt the cheese along with also putting it in the press here. You're going to go ahead and put your beef in here or whatever protein you choose. If you have chicken or pork or whatever you want, uh, you can make fish burritos. But we went with uh, beef burritos last night. So you do put a good portion of beef. Then you are going to put another slice of Velveeta cheese. You can also use shredded cheese or whatever kind of cheese you like. Uh, we didn't realize when we made burritos last night, we were running low on uh, our bricks of cheese. So we decided to use our Velveeta cheese that we had. Next, you're going to use your rice. Uh, this is basically just Uncle Ben's veggie rice, but you can literally use anything. You can use Mexican rice whatever you have readily available for you, or like we're doing, uh, we're using leftovers, whatever you have uh, to eat up that is a leftover, but you do put a decent amount of rice. A lot of people don't like rice in their burritos because they call it a filler, but it just fits perfectly in your burrito. Next, you can put whatever veggies that you have or want in your burrito. So like I showed you guys, we're gonna go with the peppers here. Put a decent amount of peppers on. Then we're going to go with corn. I love putting corn on burritos. Um, I like whenever we go out and order burritos, uh, go to our burrito place, always get corn on it, just as how I am. Uh, we make our corn with a lot of butter and a lot of pepper, but obviously you can make it however you want if you're doing it at home. And of course, like I said, you can substitute for other veggies, whatever you like on your burrito or have in your fridge. Obviously, you can put it on your burrito. Next, after you put your veggies, you do want to put uh, some sauces. So the one key about burritos is you don't want to make it so liquidy that whenever you bite into it, it goes everywhere. You want it to kind of stay together. So we're going to go with my mom's homemade salsa here. And I'm just going to put a little bit on just for taste. Of course, you can put guacamole, other sauces. If you have burrito sauce or other stuff that you like on your burritos, go ahead and put that on it. Next, I'm going to put some sour cream. This is optional. I know a lot of people don't like sour cream. Literally, you can put whatever you want on your burrito and it's still going to be amazing. So however much you're comfortable with. Then is what for most people is the tricky part. So I'm going to show you guys basically what it looks like and then how to fold it here. So here's the outcome of my burrito here. Now the last step obviously is to fold it up before we put it on the press here. My key whenever I use the press uh, or any kind of grill like this is use parchment paper. That way you don't have to clean the grill afterwards. But I do this with enchiladas, 
uh, tacos, anything that we're going to be making that we want to grill uh, and seal up. So now is the tricky part, how to fold this. So with our burrito here, the first thing you're going to want to do is the sides. You're going to lift up the sides and you're going to bring them to the middle like a standard taco or burrito that you normally would fold. And you're going to push it down and you're going to spread the ingredients outwards. Leaving the uh, tortilla like this, you're going to fold up the ends and you're going to bring it all the way to the other end putting it down and then pushing it in and scooping all of the ingredients into the middle of the burrito, kind of like this. And you just tuck it in, fold it, roll it. So here we go, a perfectly rolled burrito. That is how you rolled it up. I know it was kind of hard for me to show you guys rolling it up, but like I said, you fold in the sides, you kind of spread it out, you fold up the bottom all the way to the top, pinch it, push everything into the middle and then you continue to roll it up and everything will stay inside. Now the last step is to grill it here. So we're just gonna put this on like this, fold this up, open up our grill, and place our burrito seam side down. Just like this, seam side down and you're going to push on it very lightly. You don't want to flatten the burrito, obviously. You just want to kind of grill it on both sides to seal it. Now, if you did fold it the right way, like I showed you, it hopefully will not open up on you while you're eating it. And obviously sealing it is optional, but it definitely helps it stay together. Now, as you guys seen in the video, when I was putting the toppings on, I did not put hot sauce on it. I might put a little bit on per bite, Obviously some bites I might not want hot sauce. So that's why I decided not to put it on this time, but normally I put a ton of hot sauce on mine. So we're just gonna check on it here. And you do see those nice grill marks. I'm gonna leave this on for a little bit longer. Normally whenever I make the burritos and put them in here, if you do push it too flat, one end will slowly start to open up, which is this end here. So I might've pushed a little bit too hard, but the best thing about that is just start eating from that end. If one of the ends start opening up like this, make sure that's the end you start eating from because if you eat from the other end, which looks sealed here, then halfway through you might be wearing it because it will all come out of the bottom. But I'm gonna grill this for a little bit longer and then we're going to test it out. So here we are, here's our perfectly grilled burrito. Now you know how to roll it, fold it yourself and overall how much you should put inside. Again, do not overstuff it because you're gonna have a huge problem whenever you're trying to fold it. All of your toppings might just come out and it will be really hard to actually fold it properly. Hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to make a burrito. See you guys in the next one. Please take care, peace.